So, uh, when have you met for the first time? How long ago? How many weeks or years or months? Uh, well, we met, uh, I would say, online about two months ago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh huh. And live was uh, Saturday, like two days ago. Two days ago. Yeah. In person, two days ago. Uh huh. So, because your your special product of the two bands joining each other is first time uh, world premiere here on the music meeting. And um, so, how the, I'm really curious, how does the preparation go for this when you are in, the, you are in Berlin, uh, you are in Rotterdam? Eh? Um, uh, what was the, the initial, que initial question that was asked to you by music meeting? How to go? Should I answer? <laughs> um, this is the vision of Maite Honteleus, the artistic uh, yeah. leader, the, uh, the programmer. Yeah. of the festival. Uh, she envisioned that uh, we would go well together. Mm -hmm. And so she she asked us to listen to each other's music. And then uh, we give each other a call maybe f four months ago. And uh -huh. said, I'd love to do that <laughs> with yeah. you. And I think we were on the same page. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. um, is the basis, uh, uh, it, is it your band's compositions or your band's compositions? 50-50, I'd say. Really, 50-50. Have you uh, have you worked with with a, so it's not like it, you could do like okay, uh, Tolikin with the brass section. That sounds like the the obvious road to go. Uh, I have the impression you did something else. Can you can you tell me? Well, when we heard um, Ko Brass's record on Spotify, which you should all listen to, by the way. Um, I personally, and also my my bandmate Tal, we were really. Um, moved by by the originality and also somehow the, the similarity of taste I would say harmonically and uh -huh. in terms of its complexity but at the same time sort of um, not complexity for the sake of complexity but a beautiful complexity so, right so from that moment my concept was to uh, try to attempt to arrange or change some of their compositions and put us into their compositions not just ask uh -huh. them to come to us right right and uh for you my same uh, question yeah same question <laughs> like yeah what was your what was your idea when you heard uh the music of tolikin i can imagine was the first time probably um well i've i've uh, encountered Roland's music because I know very well the North Sea Jazz Quartet and yeah. they had a project. I think they played here like three years ago or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North Sea String Quartet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I yeah. know I knew Roland as a solo artist accompanying himself with a plucking viola and singing at the same time. Yeah, uh, and I was already a fan. Uh, uh -huh. I didn't know Tolikin until Might uh, yeah. told me about it. Um, and then I received exclusive link to their <laughs> new music that's unreleased. Uh, right. And uh, I just, like, if we had two hours, uh, we would have played, we would have arranged all the tunes because okay. they're all amazing. So the difficult uh. choice was to to actually pick up only three tunes right. um, and, and put brass on it. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You are both, uh, like, so, so you play the French horn, uh, Rome, and a lot of other instruments also. Yeah. Um, you play the viola also in an unusual way. People who have seen the band or the movies on the music meeting channel uh, could have seen the band also uh, plucking uh, and singing also. Uh, do you feel a kinship that you uh, use, y you are a, a bit in the, how can I say, the not regular everyday instruments you see every day. Is that something you think about or you try to ignore it? Um, I think what I can relate to uh, how Roland uses his instruments, it yeah. goes for music. So you can't yeah. say Roland's a violinist. Roland's no. a musician right. and has yeah. some tools around, also effects. Yeah. I like and it depends which color, uh, which uh, which tool you need to express what you wanna what you yeah. wanna express at a given moment. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that we we have that in common. I think uh, Kobe in the band in Keo Brass plays the keys. Yeah. So we're brass quintet quartet today, but it's actually it just 
five musicians playing what they can play. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> does it help, um, uh, Roland, when you play an instrument that doesn't have this big canon of of heroes and how it's supposed to sound? Does it help um, give to give you more freedom to find new that's sounds? A great, that's a great question, um, and I would say. Absolutely. That yeah. was one of the two main reasons I started to do it was because I had a much easier time uh, finding my voice with an yeah. instrument and a context that has, to my knowledge, nothing preceding it right. directly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, is, that, is that the same, same for you, Romain? That Because you are also somebody who, who uh, you were really into the tradition of your instrument you really dove into it you know a lot about it you can play the the classical music is something you like to go away from at a certain point like okay now i want to go somewhere else or is it the somewhere else that is pulling you i think like, now come here there's more uh yeah maybe a bit of both yeah uh -huh. maybe a bit of both um there is for sure in the classical also education let's yeah. say uh, can be very strict yeah and yeah. either you fit in, either you don't, and it can be very specific. Mm -hmm. And I realized <laughs> halfway through my studies that it wasn't something for me, yeah. this, this uh, discipline of being very good at one thing. Yeah. I'm, not, I, I'm not good at all at anything, but I, I'd rather do <laughs> a lot of things. I, yeah. I can, can I interrupt you? Yeah, for I sure. can relate. I, I stopped playing classical music when I didn't get into conservatory. Right. Um, which kind of defined the course of my musical life, I guess. But mm. yeah, uh, what can we expect? Because you are you singing? You are singing also, I think. I'm singing, yes, um, in some tunes. And what are the uh, those are those new tunes from the from the new album that's coming out? Uh, well, it's from the new album. Yeah. I don't know how new the tunes are, but there's one very new tune that is a product of both of our compositions. So okay. It's it's really, in, in all senses of the word, uh, it's something that is half them and half us. I'd right, say. right. And can you tell us something about the, the subject of uh, one of the songs you're going to play? Like, is it something like you talk about, okay, this song is about this, and is it something that you listen to? I prefer to let people just make their own yeah? interpretations. Okay. That, that. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing a, Thanks, a bit Ken. about your... Uh, your music and life. Thank you. Thank you so much. Romain Bly and Roland Zetwein. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.